Hey guys, quick tip on how to make somebody look like they're sitting on a couch more realistically. So I've got my um, Santa Claus here, so I'm gonna go to my base layer and I'm gonna go to Filter, Liquify, and then I'm going to um, go to my Show Backdrop, which I usually have turned off, and I'm gonna just bring it down, as you can see, just a little bit where he's sitting so it looks like he's got a little bit of weight pulling the pulling the um, couch down so then I'm gonna hit okay and check it out now you're gonna have to move your Santa or your person um, because it's gonna change obviously where they were sitting but it'll give you a good idea of where to start and so we've got that so it, it looks like it's bending a little bit and then you'll go ahead and you can what I do with the shadows instead of just using black is I'll grab my my brush and I'll um, click alt to pick a shadow from whatever I am um, about to um, paint onto so this one is like a like a deep maroon and then I'll usually bring my opacity down but also I'll change it to multiply but before I do that I'll just show you what it looks like the difference between normal and I always go I build up so it's going to be the darkest in the contact shadow and that here's normal and then here is multiply so multiply just has a little more depth so I've got I've got more shadows where he's sitting and then I'm gonna add shadows where you know he's got um, items like or not items but there's obvious um, shadows that should be there where he's got his arms and bag and then I will also clip a layer to him and give some contact shadows to his, um, what do you call it? Pants, geez. Is it Friday yet? Um, and then, and I'm not going through all of it, but this will give you a gist. Then I'm gonna click Alt and click the shadow from the couch. And I'm just gonna add shadows where he is as well. And again, I'm gonna change this to multiply so that it's a little clearer. It's less of a like a paint. Um, it's more um, realistic in my opinion and then from there I'll work on on blending Santa a little better so you can see um, did I have a, a before and after here here's a before and here's an after so little tiny things like that can really help make your um, composites a little more realistic so I hope that helps and I hope that you are enjoying the new Santa backgrounds and I hope you share what you create because you know that's my favorite part. Talk to you later.